Bienvenido a BeMoreNews.com. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo se llama? Lourdes Santiago Negrón. Uh, ¿Tenemos un problema en Puerto Rico a la universidad? Yeah, we do. We why? Why is Arturo... <laughs> <laughs> he's not he's not happy right now. We have more this semester more than 11,000 students left off of our uh, educational system. Why? Uh, specifically because of a tuition increase of more than $800 plus the ju the congress just passed another $750. So our tuition increase will be in the next semester $1,300 and so uh, more or less between Milan, the other... Um, now help us out here. $1,300, yeah. uh, if somebody made $10 an hour, 40 hours a week, 400 bucks, they can pay that off in two, three weeks. Is it the same in Puerto Rico? No, it isn't. We have yeah. a really socioeconomical uh, crisis in Puerto Rico. There's a, we have been for the last three to four decades um, two digit, digits uh, rate, uh, unemployment rates. Um, right What's now... What's the unemployment rate? Um, I think it's like uh, 17 percent, something like that. Uh, basically, very absurd. Uh, right now, uh, it's not even whether you're employed or not. Uh, here, Pedro has two jobs and can, and even with that, he can't pay that tuition and uh, fee increase. So it's not basically whether you have a, a job or not, which is already a difficult situation. But is that, in terms of, uh, uh, of, for example, the federal minimum income? Um, and other uh, uh, situations, you just can't pay $800 uh, of an increase in a, uh, a system which the, the, the UPR administration itself has a studies that show that um, our annual uh, cost of education is around $13,000. So it's not really uh, just the 800 alone. Um, I mean, does this seem like a class effort? maybe to keep people from going to college? Definitely. I think they're trying to push about poor uh, populations uh, just to have, just to uh, limit themselves and, and don't even have or think about the opportunity to have a, a, a bigger or greater future, uh, specifically with an education. And also we have uh, a whole uh, industry uh, specifically security industry that uh, has, has been developed inside the university. Uh, so instead of using the money to pay for our uh, people that uh, don't have uh, opportunity to study, uh, it's, and they're pushing that money towards the security industries, uh, the people that bid our, our students, our professors, our teachers. Those are the ones that have the money right now. And, and what, what happens at the end of the day to the do, you know, a, a la gente, a, a la comunidad, I mean, do people just, I, I mean, is this normal? I mean, it sounds much like what black people go through in America. The thing is that we also have to understand or stateside, anyway. the context in Puerto, in Puerto Rican society. Puerto Rican society, you've seen that all uh, groups, advocate groups, have been in some kind of way repressed. We have seen an independent movement that have been people have been assassinated. We have uh, uh, social justice, uh, environmentalists that are beaten constantly, and and every day you can see more or less uh, the in violence Puerto Rico? in Puerto Rico, of course. So oh, no, I thought it was just pina coladas and <laughs> yeah. There's also that's the also the image the uh, uh, imperialist U.S. Uh, wants to show to the world about Puerto Rico and all their other colonies that basically um, were just this enchanted island, um, a very unrealistic, uh, that were also like indigenous people, a very uh, ignorant uh, way of, of trying to uh, promote the Puerto Rican uh, chain of violence. But the reality is that uh, we're being abandoned by this government, abandoned by our local government, and we don't have any type of uh, really uh, opportunity but to try to advocate to um, uh, versus like, I don't know, it's, it's Secretary of Justice that's the only one can, that can maybe reinforce the civil rights uh, in Puerto Rico. If you had Eric Holder before you right now, the Attorney General, man is uh, in charge of law for the country, what would you ask him to do? First of all, Eric Holder knows about Puerto Rico. 
our professors and as an univer uh, American universities uh, professors wrote him a letter, more than 75 professors wrote him a letter signed to please uh, listen and, and, and take a look at what's going on in Puerto Rico. And he just ignored that petition uh, all, uh, uh, over How and over. How do you know he ignored it? Because he have been, hasn't been done anything in Puerto Rico. Uh, our government. Write him again. Not, we'll send him uh, this you video. You know what? Uh, politicians should be responsible for what is happening. So uh, whether or not, I don't have to write a hundred letters. He should respond to the w just one that a citizen uh, must uh, uh, write, and that will be enough because uh, that's uh, the uh, voice of the people. So uh, if you're not for that, what you're, what you're for? So. Really, um, I think there uh, this is time to assume responsibility for what is happening in Puerto Rico. There is uh, 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 there's a lot of displacement in every aspect of our society. Do, do um, you foresee, and, and, and help me out with, with, with what uh, Arturo said earlier, do you foresee peace in the future? Do you foresee violencia? Um, Right now, we're a really violent uh, as, uh, island compared to our size, to our, our population. We really have uh, a really difficult situation in terms of violence. Um, to, to gain peace, you have to create conditions for peace. Right now, we don't have any of those. The government is in, uh, all for that. Uh, um, What's it, it like for your friends in Puerto Rico? Well, my friends uh, are from uh, community leaders. Are be, are being beaten up. They are, are uh, threatened that they're gonna take it, them out of their houses. Um, as uh, Giovanni said, there's a, a, a gas pipe that is th they're trying to uh, construct that is gonna uh, that's gonna be across the island. Uh, uh, there have been many proposals about alternative uh, energy means, but no, they want that gas pipe. Uh, we have students. And the people don't want the gas pipe? No, because there's no justification for it. We have already a Somebody project, making money. A petrochemical. Dinero, plata, greenbacks, course, somebody course, making money. Specifically, the company called Fer Fernosa in España. That's the one we want to construct the gas pipe in Puerto Rico. And already that company has serial violations uh, from environmental to ethical in their own country. But no, they want to go to the Enchanted Island to go and construct that way. Let me spin this real quick before you go. When you hear about the tsunami and earthquake in Japan, do what thoughts come to your mind? I was really saddened by that situation. I think uh, uh, whichever way out, the, how the governments act uh, around the world, there's uh, no um, excuse for all what is happening to the Japanese people. Uh, I think that uh, not only the tsunami, but the nuclear crisis that is going on right now, uh, we have to be um, very uh, attendant and, and very careful about what is happening. And um, it's a message of solidarity with Japanese people and the same with any kind of population that is right now in a critical situation. Let's not forget Haiti. Uh, who is just around the corner, everybody forget Haiti because they just uh, profit earning throughout some uh, some months and then they abandon the project of reconstru reconstruction in Haiti. So also is, this is uh, very related to how sensationalist media is uh, working around the globe. So what's, what's your media? Let's make sure we plug how people can uh, catch up with, with you guys on Facebook, Twitter, and the whole nine. Website and well, all. We're all about um, uh, uh, citizen media. I think uh, that the people themselves have to be, uh, have to have the means and the empower, determination to empower themselves and create uh, different uh, media ways. Uh, but you have a website, right? Yeah, we have not only a website, but we have a radio uh, project. It's called Radio Huelga, or Strike Radio. It was born from the strike movement itself. Um, and it's online? Yeah, it's online. And What's the website? It's www.radiohuelga.com. Okay. Also, we have uh, a, an AM uh, transmission through 1650 in the island. Is and any streaming on the internet? Yeah, and streaming uh, not only through RadioWelga.com directly you can find us, but also through Ustream.tv slash channel 
slash Radio Huelga. And also there's a lot of other uh, different alternative media collectives like Indie Media Puerto Rico Chapter and uh, CCE, is the Center for uh, Student Communications or Centro Comunicación Estudiantil. And uh, all of us, you can, you can find us through Facebook, just uh, 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 writing down our, no our names. So uh, this is uh, also an invitation to everyone who wants to take a look at what's happening in the UPR and in the island or chain of islands in Puerto Rico. Just uh, access us in the internet. Good deal. Mucho gusto, and we wish you well. Thank La lucha you. continua. <laughs> Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.